What's up gamers? A few months ago I took a quick jaunt over to Copenhagen, but if we want to roll back the clock even further, about two years ago I hatched a very impulsive scheme to move to Copenhagen full time. That didn't end up panning out, but I had some vacation days in my system and no plans on what to do with them, so I figured I'd go and determine once and for all whether it would have been a good idea to go move there or the right choice to have stayed in Canada. It's hilarious that I was once concluded on moving there without ever having set foot in the city at all, but upon my arrival I was pleasantly surprised to see that it was one of those rare times that your expectations kind of do match your reality. I really did get the feeling that while I am happy in Canada, an alternate version of myself that ended up going to Copenhagen would also have been happy. And also probably he would be riding his bike a lot. Before the trip, I hyped myself up by listening to lo-fi mixes on a channel called Cozy Nordic, with videos that have themes like a rainy day in Stockholm and stuff like that. One day on my trip, I got caught in the rain next to a canal and felt very quiet and private. And I stood there, looking out over the water, listening to the rain, and basking in my own personal Cozy Nordic moment. My trip to the Louisiana Museum of Modern Art was a big highlight, and I had an amazing day at this absolute mid-century modern fortress of a museum. It was fun, it was shocking, it made me think, it made me scared, and it was a stop that I would highly recommend. The Design Museum of Denmark helped me transition from thinking that everything in Denmark is nicer than Canada to thinking that they're just more thoroughly planned out and that thoughtful planned out design is something just really strongly embedded in Danish culture. And on the last day of my trip I spontaneously met up with my friend Grace, which is strange because neither of us live there. We went to the beach and a young Danish boy asked us to take his photo with a fish he caught and text it to his dad. It was incredibly wholesome and the perfect final memory of a fun and dynamic city called Copenhagen. <laughs> 